Hello, and welcome to our channel. Our channel stands out in true sense. Here you can learn to grow flowers, you can watch and learn vegetable gardening, and we are very fond of doing DIY, where we use pots and plants as a part of our DIY. If you have not seen our video on miniature garden, then you should see Thag today. So today we are going to create a tabletop zen garden. My gardener friends must be familiar with it. Zen garden often called Japanese garden, consists of sand, plants, and water and were originally found in Zen monasteries. Now these gardens have gained popularity and can be created in your backyard oh, on your table in home or workplace. There are eight main elements, bridges, islands, plants, sand, stones, trees, water, and waterfalls. The sand is usually white and raked into patterns. The rake is used to form ripples in the sand that imitate water. We have taken sand which is gray in color, and island is made by spreading black granules of carbon. You can use colored granite powder or different colored sand. Spread it out and make a thick layer of at least 1 inch. Do level your sand thoroughly. Now we will place stones on this sand. Stones are major part of the garden. There is evidence that Shinto priests were the first to place these rocks. You can use wide variety of types and size of stones. Trees always add color to the garden. It's time place our small plants made out by using plastic lids. In Zan garden sherbs and vines are pruned regularly to maintain shape and mimic landscape. While you may not have room for a real island, you can stimulate this effect with a few stones poking out of water and your bridge can span the pond. Here we place three small stones to form a triangle. You can make a triangle or make one or two of stones. By focusing on the space, rather than the rocks, one can begin to understand the Buddhist ideal of emptiness and appreciate life's beauty. The empty space filled by sand symbolizes our lives, and the stone symbolizes emotional obstacles, anger, ignorance. One can take time out to rake the pattern on the Zen garden, since it can help in changing the mind, pattern, and making it peaceful and calm naturally. The swirling patterns give a complete look to our garden. These lines are important as they have a calming effect on the mind. In olden times, monks used to ray rake the patterns of sand in reference to their mind. The act of raking can help to order peace to the wandering mind. Hope you enjoyed today's DIY. Do subscribe our channel for more garden tips and tricks. See you later. Bye.